This is In Through the Outdoors, and I'm your anchor, Chase and Walter, with ITTO News. This year's flood at Big Stone Lake has hit 972.7 feet, just about a foot over flood stage, causing damage to property and roads. The flood of 1997 was a record-breaking year at 975.4 feet. Live video from the Ortonville Dam can be seen at BigStoneCounty.gov. And again, our thoughts and prayers go out to all those affected. Evidence of this year's harsh winters washing up on shorelines on numerous shallow lakes across South Dakota, Minnesota, and North Dakota. Dead and dying fish are washing ashore. Winter kill happens when the amount of dissolved oxygen available to fish becomes too low. Low oxygen environments happen when sunlight is no longer available to penetrate the ice, causing oxygen-producing plants to die and generate higher levels of carbon dioxide as they decompose. While winter kill can be devastating, it can actually benefit a lake in a number of ways. Mother Nature didn't cooperate on Lake Francis Case last weekend. It was cold and windy, but the fishing crew's 22nd annual Cedar Shore Walleye Tournament had over 140 teams fishing for big bucks. Father-son team Brian and Ron Dahl won with 21.59 pounds. Weighing only six fish during the two-day event, Brian caught an eight-pound walleye on Saturday, and Ron caught an eight-pounder on Sunday. Justin Cole and Melissa Daughtry came in second with 19.41 pounds. That's an ITTO news update. Enjoy the weekend. I'm Chase and Walter, and that's In Through the Outdoors. Find more at chaseandwalter.com, Facebook, and YouTube, and thanks for listening. Why choose dude wipes? Your boat's been in storage all winter long, and a mouse curiously made a home inside your bilge pump. And the only way to remove that expired critter is to grab it by the tail and give it a proper burial. Yuck. Grab a wipe and give that thing a chuck, dude. Dude wipes made minty for men because you still have to remove its furniture and other belongings.